Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Shadow Blood 0987. Gonna <clears throat> let you guys know I've been hearing a lot of complaints and uh, arguments about Cydia not working or it's being crashed or the fact that your iPhone's slow. And also that whenever you, whenever you open up a app location by any chance, it will just begin to crash. My bad, let me drag that right back over here. Yeah, I mean, it'll begin to crash and it's... You guys would start to get pissed, and I've, I've been down your road. I mean, I hated it completely. Um, and I'm going to show you guys another really cool way not for this to happen, and you won't even have to restart your whole iPhone or go onto a computer and do all that bullshit. It's a quick and simple way to get your iPhone right back and running, and the city as well. Most of the reasons that I think is because, or the reason why your iPhone is not really working is because... You possibly might have downloaded a uh, an, a uh, source to where it, either one, it could not be downloaded, or two, you can delete it, but you just have too many sources for your iPhone. So what you're going to do is um, is go to Cydia. And I'm going to show you what this uh, <clears throat> what this thing what this thing is and what it can do. Package is what I'm trying to what try, what's what I'm trying to say. Let this load. Give it some time. All right, here we go. Um, what you're gonna do once you get to the uh, city uh, homepage or wherever you're at, you wanna go to manage. Back up here, go to manage. Hurry up, sources. And uh, like, I mean, if you haven't seen my last video, you're gonna want to do, install uh, these two <clears throat> applic or uh, these two sources, which is called Excelize. An insanely I repository. I'm not for sure if I'm saying this one right, but whatever I say, it whatever, however, however I want to say it. But who cares? I don't. And I hope none of y'all do either. <laughs> Screw English. Anyway, um, what you're gonna do then is once you have those two installed, you're gonna want to go to um, click, type in I file. Capital or lowercase I, capital F I L E. That's, it really doesn't matter if you capitalize the I. Just make sure it looks like this. Then you want to go do what you want to do now is go scroll down here, click on it, the one with the X, which is sponsored by the X Slice. And then what you're gonna do here is uh, click install and confirm, and then let that whole process download. And once that's done. You go back. To, it'll bring you back uh, up to your screen, and you'll have it. Once you scroll on over, you'll have it right here. That's what it looks like. And you're gonna click on it. And what this thing basically does is, um, it allows you to uh, go through your uh, stuff. Like all your applications will be right here. You can you can like do stuff to it, has codes, everything. It's pretty cool, but. I'm not even going to mess with that right now. I'm going to show you guys how to delete sources from the Cydia to where you want to where it actually can start running again. So what you're going to do is just click, click on home and go to the top left corner and click VAR dash go all the way back until you reach to this little list here. Then you want to do is click on <clears throat> ETC then 8PT, bring it here, and go to sources. Now, what this sh thing should have is all your sources should be right here, and you can just click edit, and then highlight them, and then delete them. But I fair warn you guys, there are two main sources you do not want to delete, which is, for me, which would be Cydia and Savrik.list, or whatever you want to call it. 
Um, and there are definitely other sources you do not want to delete as well, but you can find all that, you know, in the um, on the internet, or I can just show you guys uh, what they are in the description below. And once I do that, you can just go ahead and delete those when you when you get done. So once you delete those, um, your iPhone will still be slow and apps will still won't work. But I'll let you know now it's going to restart your whole system and it's just going to keep doing that until the Apple sign is right in front of you. It looks it looks like you shut down your system, but you really didn't. It's technically restarting or rebooting it and um, it's gonna do this process for a very very long time because you've deleted most of your sources from Cydia so once that happens you will it will be uh, open and uh, once it's done it will bring you back to your lock screen and what you'll have to do is slide to unlock and type in your lock or lock combination if you don't have one just whatever You'll be back into your menu, and um, your Cydia, when you click on it, should work. Like, it should work, because it'll start to have a loading sign right there. I'll let you guys know now that, just to show you how what I'm trying to say, if, if your Cydia app is not really working, it's only because, one, I know... You can absorb this too. That the uh, notification, that r little red circle up there, will not show at all, and you will not be able to open up Cydia, or you won't be able to get into into your sources at all. So I'll let you go. So let you guys know now. If you uh, ever have that problem, make sure you have iFile. It is the best thing to do and best thing to go for. And that's all I have to show you guys. Um, if you have any other questions or complaints. Let me know now. Just let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to leave leave the descriptions for the uh, the sources and what you know what sources not to delete for your um, <clears throat> from the iFile or from Cydia while you're on the iFile. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. So please uh, comment, like, and um, subscribe. This is Shadow Blood 0987. Hope this app works for you guys as well as it did for me. Peace out.